things that just boost the comfy cozy factor in the house. I am loving the fall changes that we made, the little touches and additions this last week and enjoying the day just to clean the house and get it ready to enjoy for the coming week. Today's a regular Saturday, a perfect day to get things done. We don't have too much to do today, so we relaxed and just chilled out all morning. And then this afternoon, it's time to get in gear and get the house ready for a new week. Today, the things I need to get done are just a regular clean of the kitchen, sweeping, mopping, straightening up the living room. I hope you're ready for a super cozy fall clean with me. If you've been watching any of my other cleaning videos, you've definitely seen that I encourage my kids to help with the cleaning, to jump in and do, the, do a part, do what they can. Uh, my older daughter is so helpful with sweeping and just tidying up and putting things away. My older sons definitely help a lot and you'll see them pop in from time to time. The younger ones are still learning, but they had they were given small tasks today and then they kind of lounged around. You'll see them throughout the video. We consider keeping the household going, keeping things tidy and pleasant and clean uh, to be a family job that we can all work together, making our living space enjoyable for everyone. Dishes is one of those mealtime chores that we have assigned in our family, but I'm always willing to take my turn, especially after a Saturday morning of lounging and making muffins and just having a relaxing time. We always like to have a fresh start whenever we can get it. Sometimes that happens on Friday, sometimes on Saturday, and sometimes we don't get to our regular weekly cleaning until Monday. That's okay, I'm flexible, I can roll with the schedule however it changes, but sometime in the weekend we like to give the house a regular refresh and be back in order and ready for the new week. Now today, I'm totally enjoying the fall feeling of my house because this last week I went ahead and got out some just fall cozy decorations. This afghan is one thing that I added to my couch and I just love pulling this out for the fall months. It's actually an afghan my grandma crocheted and it's really special to me. So I love being able to pull out sentimental items or just things that boost the coziness factor. I like to hang twinkle lights behind curtains, pull out candles and just cozy things up a little. I had made a quick run to the grocery store in the middle of this day, grabbing some fill-in items as well as uh, shampoo and conditioner, which me and my daughter had both run out of at the same time. She's helping me to unpack those things as well as um, fold up the plastic bags the way we usually do so that they can fit in their spot nicely under the cabinet. We do have reusable grocery bags, but I don't mind when we forget bringing home the plastic bags. We do reuse them and get a lot of use out of those. So that's one way to make use of something that would be trash otherwise. We, can, we save them and give them a second life in small trash cans or for other everyday uses. So how many of you are like our family and take the reusable bags when you remember, but when you forget, you just make use of the extra plastic bags? Leave me a comment down below because I know I'm not alone in that one. Hopefully we'll phase that out, but for now, we make best use of it as we can. Here's our next little helper. Vander's helping to put away the silverware in the silverware drawer. If you've seen other videos, you might know that it's his job to put away the dishes once they're dry. You can see that we're having a good time chatting and just having a conversation while we were cleaning up. We were also listening to music. I love it when my kids wanna hang around and work together and just have a good time together. That makes me happy.
You heard me say that I use an essential oil cleaner for a lot of our cleaners. Well, today, here it is. It's Young Living's Thieves Cleaner, and it's a concentrate, so I put a cap full and then fill the rest of the bottle with water. This has been our favorite go-to cleaner, and this time of year, it really boosts the fall factor because the scent is um, clove, cinnamon, lemon. It really has a really pleasant fallish kind of scent. So I really do enjoy using that a lot, but especially this time of year, I love diffusing thieves as well as using the cleaner around the house because I think it goes so nicely with the season. My sweet daughter bringing me a cup of water. I love drinking out of my big tumbler because it keeps my water so icy cold. And I had said, oh, I'm so thirsty. And she filled up my water and brought it over to me. This totally helps me drink more water throughout the day because if I pour myself water in a regular cup and it kind of just becomes room temperature, I won't want to drink it. You can see that this bottle's been through something, but I like using this barkeeper's friend on the sink just to um, polish and shine it up when all the dishes are done and the sink is clear. I love getting the sink a good scrub down. I'm totally a big believer in the fly lady method of shining your sink. One thing I have loved seeing this season is the fall color palettes that everyone is using. There's such variety. Some people go for really traditional reds, oranges, yellows, and browns, and some people have the muted blues and greens, the grays. I absolutely love the variety in people's decorating styles for this season. For me, I love bringing in creams, browns, wood tones. I don't tend to decorate with a lot of extra pieces to clean and keep kind of in place because we are a very active homeschool family. But I love bringing in a few touches that just remind us of the heart of the season, of thankfulness, of gratefulness, gathering together. I like to keep a couple sentimental items around the kitchen also. Maybe you've seen, I have an oversized coffee cup uh, that says, good morning pumpkin. And I just love that mug. I think it's adorable. And I've kept it around as kind of a sentimental memento um, because my husband has called me pumpkin since back since our dating years. So uh, 18 years and counting, I've been pumpkin to him. So I love keeping those sort of things around. Also, I have a jar that's kind of our treat jar for the season that was a housewarming gift when we moved into this home. And that was two years ago this September. So I love keeping those kind of sentimental items around that definitely remind me of that reason to be grateful for gathering, for fellowship, and I'm very thankful for that. If you've watched my other cleaning videos, you have not seen me mop the floors yet. I'm using this Murphy's Oil Soap, which I had used in the past and recently brought it back into my cleaning routine. I have older wood floors throughout most of the house that I have found really challenging to keep them uh, shiny and looking new and not printed up all the time. And I also have this um, Saltillo tile or terracotta tile in the kitchen, which I just love the look of, but it is so well worn. It needs a deep clean and reseal. And then I have some laminate floor in some of the additions to the house, like my bedroom and our schoolroom. So we definitely have mixed floor uh, surfaces to try and figure out what works for them. And so this product I'm able to use on all of them and I'm pretty happy with how it cleans and how the floors come out, especially the wood floors. That's the one I'm most concerned about it. Um, you know, just taking care of the floors.
If you have small children in the home or ever have, you will remember how hard it is to keep windows clean. They love to put their hands on the windows and get a good look. And I don't mind having messy windows, but it sure is nice to get them nice and clean. You can imagine this door is constantly printed up, but giving it a nice wipe down will last for the afternoon, but that's about it. And I'm not gonna make myself crazy cleaning it multiple times a day to keep a perfectly clean window. Like I said, we love lounging around the comfy living room on a Saturday morning like this. And we had a couple game boards out. I really like them because they're kind of decorative also. We have checkers and tic-tac-toe, and I am just gonna leave them on the table today because it's so fun just to gather around for a little quick game together. This is one of my favorite views in the house. I love to cuddle up on the couch with a comfy afghan, a book, or my Bible, and enjoy the view of the fireplace. With the warm lights and the coziness of this room, I enjoy it so much for all those fall feels. The shelves needed a quick dusting, and then I set my diffuser so that we would have a nice ambiance of scent in the living room as we finish tidying up. I'm so thankful for my daughter's willingness to sweep so well for me. It really saves me on time having someone team up on the floors. Uh, this task can be quite overwhelming in a large house. We're really thankful for all the space, but it definitely requires some dedication. I'm really a fan of the spin mop. I think it was a great invention. Before I had this mop, I used a, I think it's a professional, um, kind of spray mop. It has replaceable microfiber pads and it works just fine, but this one is definitely very easy and convenient and I can wring it out very, very well so that I don't leave my floors too saturated. I'd love to do a little tour of the house and show you the little fall things that I set out around the house. There are things that I save from year to year and sometimes I add to our decorations. This year I'm not planning on adding anything to our fall decor that we don't already have. So you'll get to see some of those hints around the house, uh, things that we have collected over the last several years and that we just enjoy the tradition of putting out for that fall feeling. We live in a pretty hot climate so it doesn't start to feel fallish until probably mid-November, but um, we enjoy the feeling and just the colors and uh, thinking about what fall symbolizes. So I hope you enjoy this video where we're just getting a regular Saturday done, but we're totally enjoying all the fall feels while we're doing it. I am loving the fall atmosphere in my house since I set out a few candles and some warm wood tones, um, a couple special afghans, some things just really set the coziness factor for fall. I definitely feel like we have brought in all the fall feelings this coming season. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and you'd like to see more videos like this. I hope you enjoy the video today, find some inspiration for your own home and some cleaning motivation. 
So thanks for sticking around for this one.